Hi, my fellow screenwriting enthusiasts. It's Paul from Small Town Movie Critic. Now, if you're new to the channel, we're all about helping you write that kick-ass screenplay by giving you tips, tools, inspiration, and of course, product reviews. Now, if you feel like this is the type of content that will be good for helping you with your screenwriting endeavors, please feel free to hit the, the subscribe button below. As we do each and every week, I'd like you to, to welcome all of my new subscribers. And this week, I'd like to welcome Ralph Campbellberger. Sorry if I butchered your last name, but I'll have you right up there. So I want to wish you luck and inspiration in your product in, or your writing endeavors. So thank you, Ralph, for again for joining the community. Now, in this week's video, we're going to take a look at Fountain Syntax. Now, most of you are probably throwing up your arms going, Paul, we want to be screenwriters. We don't want to be computer programmers. However, what if I told you that you could take any text editor, yes, any text editor, and turn it into a free screenwriting software program where you can just focus on just the writing? Now, if that's, if that's something that you really would think that you need right now, you can actually use this by just knowing Fountain Syntax. Um, now, Fountain Syntax sounds a lot harder than it actually is. And just to give you sort of uh, what they, um, sort of the promotional text they get off the Fountain website, I'll, I'll read that to you right now. Fountain works in any text editor on almost any device. There's nothing to buy or download, which is nice, right? So just pick up your favorite text editor. Some screenwriters like Google Docs, others like TextMate or IA Writer or VIM. It even works with built-in apps like Notepad and Text Editor. So it's, you can see it's, it's got a wide variety of stuff. Now to write in Fountain, just start typing. For elements like screen headings and character names, follow Fountain's really simple syntax rules. Now, later on in the video, we're going to give you some examples of the syntax rules. Um, and so you can take a look and see how you need to write. But it really doesn't change the way you're writing too much. Uh, plus, I also will link the website in the description below with the rules. So that way, once we get done with the video, you don't have to keep looking at my video to see the, the rules. You can go straight to the website and take a look at the rules because we're just going to cover five of the basic ones. Um, and you can take a look at all the other ones if, if you have more detailed questions. Now, the big difference between writing in a text editor and a dedicated screenwriting app like Final Draft is that the elements like dialogue won't automatically indent. Now, in Fountain, the formatting, here's the key, comes later. So don't worry about it, just type. And when you're ready to see your script in its finished form, you have a, your choice of apps uh, to download this to. So mostly all the major screenwriting apps, including Final Draft and Movie Magic Screenwriter, can import and fountain files. They, they, now they miss some of the special features, but they get the basics like character names and dialogues right. So you might have to go back through and reformat a little bit, but the bulk of the work is done in that writing program that you like. And that's important because you need to use a program that you like, otherwise you're not gonna write. So, so that's why um, maybe using the uh, fountain syntax might be most helpful for you. So let's take a look at some of the basic screenwriting syntaxes to, to just make you aware of. Again, this document will be provided. In, uh, the link for that will be the, uh, provided below, which you can look, look at and, and find more information. But we're just going to go through the basic five here in just a second. So let's take a look at uh, the five basic elements that we're going to that you normally need for a screenplay. We're going to look at scene headings, action, character, dialogue, and parentheticals. So most people don't use parentheticals very often. So at least the big four: scene headings, action, character, and dialogue. How do you format your writing using the Fountain syntax in order to get it right for the most part, um, formatting wise? So. Uh, as we look here, uh, we look at scene headings, and a scene heading in any, is any line that has a blank line following it and either begins with INT, uh, interior, or EXT, exterior, or uh, similar. Uh, and they have a full list uh, below, which you can see down here. Uh, with the mouse here, it has interior, exterior, um, interior, slash, exterior. Now, the other interesting thing is you can actually force a scene heading by starting the line with a single period. And you'll see this sort of right here. You see sniper scope POV, um, and they have a little dot there. And for that, you'll be able to see that there will be an extra scene uh, heading will be thrown in for that. Now, for action, um, or scene descriptions uh, is any paragraph that doesn't meet criteria for another element. So if, as long as it doesn't meet any of the specifications for a scene heading, character, or dialogue, uh, Fountain re respects your line-by-line -line decision to single or double space, taking every carriage return as intentional. Now, if you need to force an action element because it looks like it could look like a character or something like that, simply put an exclamation point in front, and that that will automatically. Uh, cause that line to be an action element. Now for a character, 
A character element is any line entirely in uppercase with one empty line before it and without an empty line after it. And you can see in our example here, you have steel. Um, so again, it's all upper uh, case letters here. Um, and then if you have some, uh, if you need some indenting or something like that, they do have an extra se section, which is why I'm linking this in the uh, video or in the uh, description below. Uh, for dialogue, dialogue is simply any text following a character or parenthetical element. So again, you have the uppercase elements, and if you would just carriage return next, it's going to format it as if that is dialogue. Um, and then finally for parentheticals, uh, parentheticals follows a character or dialogue element and are wrapped in parentheses. So, so these are basically the, the big five elements that you're going to be using. Again, I'll have this page linked. Uh, and so if you have any questions about mm -hmm. any more specific uh, cases, mm -hmm. you'll be able to find out how to uh, properly put that into the right syntax. Now, if you're on a budget or have no budget for screenwriting software, take a look at writing using your favorite text editor in the Fountain Syntax. Another thing I will also point you to too is if you like um, a free writing program that has a lot of elements in it, that, um, that, that if you need something more than just a text editor, because uh, so, some people do, uh, but some people just want that nice, clean uh, text editor where there's not a lot of extra uh, bells and whistles. Uh, if you do want an extra, uh, if you do, or if you're one of those writers that need extra bells and whistles, which is something that I need, I'll link a video about Kit uh, Scenarist, which is a free program, very much in the vein of Scrivener. Uh, so take a look at that if that's something that's uh, that would be more helpful for your writing process. So remember, the best program to use is the program that helps you finish your writing and that you feel comfortable using. Because again, at the end of the day, you're writing this, not me. Um, and so you need to find what works best for you. So I hope this video was helpful. If you find the con content helpful, please hit the subscribe button and the like button as well too. Well, until the next video, keep writing and have a blessed day.